<laughs> Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. I'm from D. And J. And today we're going to be doing a, um, a New Year's mukbang. And uh, we're going to be eating and talking about uh, some stuff that's coming up for the new decade. Mm-hmm. So we have nachos. Rotel. Mm, you know what is that, that is. Is it focusing? I don't know. It's bright. <laughs> I don't know if I see it, but... And then we got what? Some pizza from Joanne's. Mm-hmm. We got chicken wings, mm-hmm. uh, homemade mm-hmm. corn salad, mm-hmm. and then homemade pasta salad. Mm-hmm. And then we drink yeah, lemonade today. Lemonade. Okay, let's get a thumbnail. <laughs> Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm so hungry. I've been waiting so long to do this video. You gonna, you gonna put me out there like that? <laughs> <laughs> so much. I don't know where to I ain't got no salt. I ain't got no salt. I ain't got no salt. I'll try this corn salad because everybody said it's spicy, so let's try yeah. it. Mm. That's spicy. Mm-hmm. What's it? Mm, good. Good. <laughs> We got rubber wings and hot wings. Mm-hmm. Where you get these from? Um, I think Joanne's. I don't know. Oh, okay. Mm. I don't like eating chicken, but I'm so wasteful. Mm-hmm. When I start seeing the rest of I just stop eating it. Mm-hmm. Do not eat it. Okay. So we got two things to tell y'all about what's coming up for 2020. Three things. He read through it. I didn't read through it yet. I just found something. I sent it to him. But I don't care the first time. They got some stuff planned for the y'all. The first one is about my favorite country. So, they got some stuff planned for y'all. The first one is the 2020 Summer Olympics. It will be in Tokyo this year. Mm-hmm. So, it will be in Tokyo. And then next one, they got a bunch of movies mm-hmm. coming out. Oh. And it shows a picture of Sonic. Well, that's one of the movies coming out. Yeah. You watch the Olympics? Um, no, but I'm watching the district because I'm in Tokyo. Yes. Yes, mm. mm. I gotta first read more. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna mm. link it in the description too so y'all can read it with us. This food is so good. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so the movies that will be coming out, I'm just gonna give y'all a short little run. It will be Wonder Woman 1984, oh my Black God. Widow, um, Fast, Fast, Fast and the Furious 9, um, Fantastic Beasts, um, Avatar 2, uh, Maverick, <laughs> West Side Story, Mulan, really? I got to see Mulan. West Side Story? Mm-hmm. You gotta be ashamed they say that. Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm going to see it. Yeah, but it, but it better be good because they had to, they messed up. So, mm-hmm. okay, you can say next two. What's the next two? The elections? What you started from the bottom? No, I, I did the first two. It's numbered. Oh, I did number okay. one and two. The next one is number three, the elections. 
Oh yeah, for the day um and Pete Donald Trump. Yeah. And then number four is the Mars twenty twenty mission. Uh I ain't going to Mars. Uh number five is a newly opened Washington Monument. Hmm. Number six is TV like you've never seen it or paid for it before. HBO Max. I'm excited about that. Mm-hmm. Cause you know I watch my television. Uh, number seven, they got the opening of the Yahoo time capsule. So apparently, in what year was it? 2006. They put a bunch of stuff in an electronic time capsule, and they are gonna open it up. Oh, that's that's tough. It's yeah. like a yeah. I like that. Okay. What's the next one? Next one is a total eclipse. It says. Um, I guess about the eclipse come man. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, uh, mm, it mm. says they are making plans to con- to conjugate in Argentina mm-hmm. and stare up at the cosmic spectral while safely Ooh, cool. be spectral. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Dispectulated. I don't know. They try to do something with this next. Um, so the eclipse. Mm-hmm. Trying to do something. Next is historical anniversaries. Y'all know it's about to be January. Um, President's Day coming up. Odd and holidays for the people. So it says on January 18th marks the 100th anniversary of the ratification of of the Trinity of Versailles. 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 I don't hell no. And then on September 6th, we'll mark 400 years since the sailing of the Mayflower. What is that? A slave ship? The Mayflower? Yeah. I don't know. Gotta peaches. I think but it is. And in, in November 28th, 500 years ago, um, Ferdinand Magellan, that's the name, became the first European to cross from the Atlantic to, to the Pacific through the Strait Me- Meglin. And then in December will mark the 250th anniversary of 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 the birth of a legendary German composer Ludwig van Beethoven. Okay. Beethoven. Yeah, Beethoven. And uh, I guess the next one is a bunch of books about to be coming out. I don't know damn well. Ain't nobody reading no books. No, but um, this time all, all, all the new books you can pre-order it on Kindle. So oh, then okay. you can actually buy. You can just buy. Oh, one of them. Yeah, Kindle. So you so you can listen to it anywhere. You can when you're shopping, you put it in your AirPods. Listen to it while you're shopping. Listen to it in the car, driving to work. You can listen to it anytime. Mm. It says, mm-hmm. "Come out with new Hunger Games book." I'm like, leave that alone. I'm about to see that. Songbirds and the snakes. Mm, 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 mm. Some writers will be. Lily King. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know who that is, but next one is a mm, saturated mm, mm, soccer scene. This is the you know, pasta salad. It is so good. Mm. Oh god. Mm. Okay, so this next one is about soccer, and it says that the biggest football championship will go down around in Europe this summer, which football is soccer, but it will be in South America. Next one is a, a new hope for pe- for peanut allergy sufferers. Oh my. It's, tw- it's 2020, okay, it's about time for some medical breakthroughs to help people suffering from frustrating sometimes extremely serious conditions like peanut allergies every year the the cleveland clinic counts down the most anticipated advance advances in medical technology for the coming year so i guess they're trying to cure it or something hmm. next one's about to buy it's a, an innovative year in dubai what else could they do? They already got gold plated everything. Um, damn, you only have fourteen. <laughs> um, Amen. Hold it down. Oh yeah. 
And then highlight the whole thing. Uh-huh. It should say speak. Menagerie. A menagerie <clears throat> of new music. And I got yeah. a picture of Cardi B. That is not Cardi B. Mm -hmm. That um, is not Cardi B. That don't look like it. Whoever is Mexican. It can't be a black woman. It looked like it. It looked like Cardi B. I'm just saying. The next generation of video game consoles and new games to play on them. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Xbox and PlayStation teaming up. It says, the year of the electronic truck. Yes, all just stuff driving stuff. Anybody got time for that? Uh, the baseball game of your dreams. Really? What baseball game? <sighs> it says... The Yankees and the White Sox. In the middle of a cornfield, what? I don't like baseball like that. The rise of high speed rail. Oh, that's them trains. Oh, oh yeah, um, right. it's it's already one in Africa. A busting Broadway scene. Bustling, I'm sorry. Bustling. They come back with the play, y'all. A new decade. Really? What is that? A new year means a new beginning. Then what does a decade mean? We have a whole 10 years to shape the trends, events, and questionable hairstyle choices that will forever be associated with the 20s to 2020s. So I guess they're trying to figure out what the new trend's gonna be. That's up to us, what the new trend's gonna be. That's what you think. What hairstyles gonna be popping, the new dances, I guess the new uh, clothing trends. Let me tell you how this trans stuff goes. They have one person do something, and they force you to see it a, a bunch of times, and so that's how it becomes a trend. Makes they not to say it's popular when it really ain't, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hardly touch my food. You black no guy. I'm home. Me too, but I really want to do this video today. So comment down below what y'all doing for New Year's, New Year's Eve. Are y'all hanging out with family? Going out to New York? I know it's gonna be crowded in New York this year. Oh my god! Chicken crystal. I wanna go to New York for New Year, but too many people. That's what most really people do. When I mean, you could just watch it at home on your big screen TV. <laughs> and scream with the crowd. Right. This food was so good. Yo, I do. Who, Danny? Mm -hmm. So you know who else there? I'm gonna ask you. And your cousin. Um, um, we do an here? Yeah. Okay. You can go up in a minute while. Okay. Was that all? What the block of clicks? Oh, that was all. Yeah. Alright, so you want me to do, you, you want me to go to the business one? Okay. Oh, I thought it was going to be longer than that. That's because that's we didn't really explain it, but that's why we're going to put the link in the description. So y'all can read more about it, but I have another link. We got to talk about them. Huh? Yeah, I know. We have to talk about them, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, we gotta talk about them more. Yeah. But let's go to the other one before we get deep into them. Okay. Well, this one was more about business. Mm -hmm. So if y'all trying to open up businesses, y'all the business owner and trying to get to these next trends, I'm telling y'all right now, it's mostly gonna be technology. So if y'all old folks trying to open a business, y'all gotta be careful. Oh, yeah, I see. One where it was like robots are gonna be taking jobs and mm -hmm. stuff. Especially if you still work in jobs and you need to yeah you start on your businesses so you can to get some robots working for you. But okay, I'm gonna read the first one. It says the top twenty businesses trends in twenty twenty might be first for what he just said, robots taking over jobs. Probably the biggest change that is affecting our businesses is how machines are taking over tasks, ranging from window cleaning to Inventory management. I'm gonna tell y'all a story that my dad told me yesterday. So uh, he was in Walmart yesterday. And he went to one of the outs and then um, he saw a robot scanning like all the shelves to, to, to like see what they needed more. Mm -hmm. 
And he said he was scared and everything. He was about to punch the robot and everything. <laughs> Yeah, but be careful with these robots. Neko is the internet of machines. Those robots are and computers are talking to talking to each other, which speeds up businesses' decisions and will strip layers of management from organizations. That's good because I don't like my manager no one. You can read the next two. Hmm. You can read the next two. I mean, it was just a 10. I think so. Okay. It says mm. flatter organizations. What they talk about? It says a consequence of those faster decisions is the need for less blessing. management. 3D printing is something you know about. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get my 3D printer. I'm trying to work. Give me a 3D printer. 3D printer. Uh-huh, because um, I'm going to tell you the story. I read on Google News, and they said that um, um, that, that the first um, 3D printed town is, is actually being built this year in Mexico. Mm. And um, and they going to give it to all the poor people. Mm. So, that's good. And next one says nanotechnology. That's all like 3D printing. 3D printing. The 3D printing is happening alongside bi biological engineering. Here they go with this. They didn't make all these moves about the robots coming and taking over. And y'all still building them. Do you want me to go get some double eggs? Hell, no. You can get your double <laughs> egg. I don't want to get double eggs. I don't need none. I just want to see if you want some. Uh, put me on the toilet every time you go home. Mm-hmm. Uh, and read the next one. Mobile apps redefining service industries. A mobile app, mobile phone app, is currently booming, but the real effect of these mobile services will be felt on industries as as diverse as the taxi taxi industry, as the time as the what, minning minning. Anyway, I'm read the next one. Okay. Next one says reinventing entertainment. Apps and connected machines are going to change consumer behavior. And now here is the most notable in the entertainment industries, which are a beginning. Uh, I'm just going to let Siri say this word. I'm even going to try to pronounce it. Revolutionized. Yeah. By tools, by tools like Google Glasses and social media. And I feel like this got something to do with Apple. Because y'all know Apple uh, really got popping with Apple TV now. They put all stuff on there. Mm -hmm. I mean, did you watch anything on there yet, or you ain't you're not even gonna try to pay for it? I'm not fooling with that. Yeah, but I think this got something to do with Apple TV because they just went popping with that stuff. There's too many apps. There's too much stuff going on. You got all the networks coming out with apps. You got Netflix. You got Hulu. Google, YouTube, well, everybody got apps. Netflix has been here for a long time. It's, it was just not getting popular a long time ago, but actually been here for a while. We had Netflix for a long time. Before I can remember, we have, we had Netflix. So. Yeah. Netflix has been here for a while, so you can't put Netflix in the picture. There's an industry that's been here for a while. What I'm saying, though, is so many coming up. It's like I mm -hmm. can't keep track. Disney got that app now? That's what Hopping. I'm saying. Like, come on now. It's too many. But they just trying to... They try to bring up entertainment, and they want you to um, watch it on phone instead of, I guess, buying TVs and stuff. That's because don't nobody watch TV. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't play anything on phone. Yeah, in a minute, like, you know, remember that commercial they had with the iPhones and the, the Google phones or whatever, and it's like the iPhones and stuff kept getting bigger and bigger and all uh -huh. that? That's how it's going to be. Your phone going to be the size of a TV. Uh-huh. The, the iPads is really almost the size of the TV. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Ford, no. But Google just came out with their new phone, and they popping with their new phone. It's 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 like the it's like the square thing, like Google, like um, like Apple does, but it's up. It's not cameras. It's like a light, and it lights up. Mm. And it's that and, um, your mama on it. Mm. And it helps you to these people on YouTube. They tried out and um, they took a picture and pitch black dark, and as soon as they put it up, you could see a perfectly everything good, no flashlight, no mm. nothing. 
So I think everybody will just set the apple. Hmm. That's not. That's not. Yeah, let me set the next one. I guess because you eat. I haven't ate a lot. Mm -hmm. Next one. If the following rise of social media, like many innovations, social media was greatly hyped. And now we're seeking the backlash of it being oversold. Over the rest of the decade, organizations are going to figure out how to use social media services e uh, effectively and profitably without hype. Let's think about that one. It's not going to happen. Hold on. It's all about likes. And so they take the likes away. It's all about likes and followers. And who's doing what. But I think um, social media is actually good for certain things. And, and I think some people take it for granted. Cause, because, um, because social media has helped a lot of people with their families and how to take care of their families because because um most people who start with me they eventually end up on youtube and start making a lot of money and then be the ones that be suffering got to take care of their whole family i think most people take it for granted you take it more seriously and use it like they said more um profitably yeah mm -hmm. yeah because that's what it was for in the beginning you mm -hmm. know what i mean facebook was for people in college to you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. to talk to people yeah and Instagram was for you to market your business and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if that's true or not, but you know, it's 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 time for people to start realizing that life is more than likes and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and it's about other things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's about other things, mm -hmm. like feeding your family and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I, I think that's what it was for to help people. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the last one you want to say it. Huh. That's the one you was talking about. It was at the restaurant. Oh, yeah. The last one is newspapers cease to exist. It says, one of the effects of social media, mobile phone apps, and the <clears throat> persuasive internet is the end of newspapers by 2020. As a futurist, Ross Dawson has predicted... I mean, of course, no young person say, oh, well, let me go get a newspaper. Mm -hmm. Nobody reads the paper, but the old folks. Yeah, and now, I don't think the old folks going to be no more because all their grandchildren using them how to go to all the apps now. And, um, oh. what's your name? Um, the, um, New York Times got a whole app now. So yeah. you can read that newspaper. So I think they should do that. So then they ain't got to cut down no more trees. That would be better. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's like the only good thing about it. Yeah. The trees. And plastic going away too. So we can have more trees, but they still gonna use it for other stuff. They didn't see that But yeah, I think they should do that. That's actually a good thing. He don't like it. Who don't like it? You you said that was messed up about the newspapers. No. I'm gonna say it's just I feel like people are relying too much on technology. You know, mm. I mean, it's just too much. Well, it's going to be a lot of technology. It is for a long time. I don't think it's going to never stop with technology. I was going to say something about the flying cars. <laughs> I'm not supposed, supposed to talk about everything in the movies. I know. I think. I just want to see Mulan, y'all know. I don't want to see Mulan. That movie's going to be awful. If y'all know me, I'm a big Asian fan, so I'm, Mulan is my favorite Disney movie. I don't care what nobody say. She's Mulan. Mulan. Been my favorite Disney, Disney movie. It's been Lying. for a long time. I love Mulan. Lying. My favorite Disney movie, and she's my favorite Lying. Disney princess. Lie. Ain't no lies over here. Lie. Because I ain't dropped nothing. You lie. Then what's my favorite? It wasn't no Mulan. Then what is it? You need to know my favorite if, I I, if, know. if it wasn't that. But it's Mulan. I'm a big Asian fan. I love the culture and everything. Okay, I'm going to stay in Mulan. Everything. I got to see Mulan. <laughs> Dylan, want to see you? 
I'm not going to see that movie. Why not? Because they took Shifu out. But it's more dragon. realistic, okay? Well, they could bring him in. Yeah, there. they could have because they because they do kind of witch, so they they should put him in there. Because I don't think was it ever a witch in the animated film. I don't remember no witch. Yeah, me neither. But they try to change it up, and I think change is sometimes good. No, it's never good. Yeah, sometimes Look at all the movies they messed up. Like Cinderella. A Beauty and the Beast. I love um Into I the Woods. I love up. Into the Woods. Just enough they're gonna mess up. But they gonna mess up Frozen. They're gonna do live action version, they're gonna mess it up. They is? I, I ain't gonna do it right now, but I'm telling you when they do do it. Alright. Uh, yeah. mm, it's gonna pop every night. I didn't see something too. It's come, gonna be awesome. Come down below. I'm just asking for the tomb was good, but I don't think none of the Disney live action movies of today were good. I don't think none of them. Are. I think the old school Cinderellas and stuff like that was good. But Did we see any film? Disney live action films lately? Did we see any? We saw The Lion King. I like it. We did a video on that, but it never did reach the surface. <laughs> yeah, it didn't. It was. Mm-mm. It was a good video. What you talking no, about? No, I'm talking about The Lion King. Yeah, the movie was yeah, The movie was awesome. Uh huh. But video was good though. we might post that video. Maybe if y'all ask for like rebates or like bloopers, we do a bloopers video. We definitely gonna put that in because we messed up a lot in that video. But what you wanna talk about? You wanna talk about Atlanta Trunks or you wanna talk, start, start from the start from thing? the beginning? Okay. I'm full. Okay, the beginning is the Olympus in Tokyo. I'm gonna watch. I never watch. I only watch the Olympics one time, and I'm watching this one. The we'll whole skip thing. Because I don't care about the Olympics. Okay. <laughs> the movies. Mm, the movie. No, I'm gonna see what they got moved to come out. What the movie is that? What? Wonder Woman, Black Widow. Wonder Woman. 1994. I'm excited to see that because they're going mm-hmm. to be introducing the cat lady as her villain. I don't know the name. Mm. But yet, at the end of the movie, they're going to be. Oh, shut up. Never mind. But in the movie, they're going to be introducing the villain. The I'll um, link the trailer for it. Next Black Widow, I can't wait to see Black Widow. Yeah, that's going to be real good. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to see that either. They finally bring out at first when we heard about that it was gonna break out with a movie, we really thought it was gonna be that good. Mm-mm. But when we saw the trailer, it was gonna be good because because we hardly know her past. Like we know she had a sister, we know she had a whole team. Well, I didn't. I didn't know why I said it was gonna be good. I said it was gonna be good because of the action. Yeah, that she going back to her old see. days. I don't really give a damn about the family. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be good because she didn't have no power. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's, that's not even matter because I ain't got no power either. He, Who? Well, Iron Man, he trashed by his suit. His suit? That's got power. Wait, do Captain America got powers? Yeah, he do. He do. He got strength. See, all that good stuff. But this movie, see, he had, you're right though, because power don't mean everything. Exactly. He had powers and his first movie was awful. It was okay. I never seen it. See it. Um... Yeah, I'm, yeah. The fir- first one was all that. I can't really get into it. All this World War stuff, I can't really get into it. You know, I do like wars. I just can get into it. Yeah. But it's, I think the best movie was either Civil War or the one with um with um with um with, um Nick um Free Time being this movie because Nick he, he always makes the videos. Uh, I mean, the movies good. Mm-hmm. He always do because he's just a good actor. Yeah. So I think. They need to incorporate him a lot more movies. They, they, they even snuck him in, um, uh, Endgame? Was it Endgame that snuck him in? No, no it was, it was Endgame. Yeah. <laughs> Doing right there. But, yeah. But, I need to keep him in the movies. And, um, Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. What are we going to discuss next? More movies. Well, look how much we got. Do you think that's enough? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That's more than enough. Mm-hmm. I do this outro. I need to freeze my food. But make sure you guys like this video. Mm-hmm. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Mm-hmm. If you don't like it, don't do nothing. Don't give it a thumbs up. Just don't do nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> comment down below. Comment. Turn the bell on. Mm-hmm. We're we'll doing more videos. Yes. Comment down below. Tell us what you want to see, what mm-hmm. you like, what you didn't like. Let us know. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Happy New Year's. Welcome to 2020. Yes. I wish you here. all the love and happiness and possibilities and great success. Yes. I'm ready for this year. Yes, and hopefully we can do more videos. Don't, don't do me like that on this camera. <laughs> don't do me like that. We're going to do some more videos. Yes. Thank you. Bye, guys.